All right, we back at it, Homegrown Radio. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. We West got Coast. a young lady in the building right now, and I like to call her uh, Rosemary with one word. <laughs> all right, I like I like the <laughs> fact that it's Rosemary with one word. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so Rose much. Rosemary, all and one word. All yes, one word, that's so man. funny that you guys keep emphasizing that. That's great. That's Thank it. you. I appreciate Rose it. Rosemary, all one word. Now the the, the the album right now, Synergy is out. You spell it differently. So kind of let's start off there. Why why is it spelled S I N N or G? <laughs> synergy. Uh, so synergy. So basically, um, the whole project is kind of like a play on duality of light versus dark, good, bad, um, ugly, beautiful. And um, it kind of just was that way. Like mm-hmm. after completing all the music, it kind of just went in that way. It wasn't nothing that was really forced or that I had to think about too hard. But I really wanted to highlight that and not to get too deep too quickly. But right, um, let's go. Man, dive, yeah. dive in that mug. Get let's jump. Go. Let, let people know. Go <laughs> ahead. This shit. Um, swimming pools as well. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> okay, Get into bet. It. bet. So, um, you know, I think obviously everybody has a story and everybody's been through. Can I cast? You yes. can say whatever you, you want to say. Okay. Did okay. you say? Did you say get into this motherfucker already? <laughs> no, but, but why is it though? That's great. Okay, so everybody's been through their own shit. Everybody has their own story. Um, and music has kind of always been what has tethered me and kept me, you know, with one foot here in in the world and in reality after suffering a lot of losses and just going through, you know, my own things um, without any disrespect to anybody as far as, like, religion. And I'm, I'm very spiritual, but um, music has kind of been that, that religion for me and has really pulled me out of my deepest, darkest moments and has been there for me. I don't want to get emotional. No, it's too early. It's, it's but ahead, um, so yeah, so that's basically what it is. It's, it's my church. It's my religion. It's my my everything. And um, so yeah, you know, obviously, I'm far from perfect. Perfect. Excuse me. Um, I'm a sinner, and that's why it's just a little bit a little bit of emphasis on, on synergy sin, spelled yeah. that way. Okay, I just wanted to clarify because um, I saw back. the sin in there. I'm like, okay, she is demon a time. No, yeah, not yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I so thought. If you I thought to... it was demon time around this <laughs> no, motherfucker. For no. sure. So if you, you talked about having the duality, right? So if you have to categorize it, is it 50-50? Or on your end, is it like, yo, 75 that and 25 this? Like, how, how would you break it down? You know, I would say uh, sonically and, and uh, substance-wise, as far as, like, the, the lyricism and the content of the music, I would say it leans more towards... You know, the center, the the deeper, darker side. So I would give it like a good 75. 75. 25, gotcha, you know gotcha. Now, I'm going to lie to you. When I saw the artwork, that shit freaked me out. Because <laughs> I don't fuck with none of that shit. Oh, I was, I I'm on record. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on, bro. Listen. No, I No, on some real shit, I'm on record. I talk about this all the time on the radio and everything. I don't like none of that stuff. Anything ghoulish, gothic, Ooh, like. Oh, and I'm oh, all okay. about I'm it. Saying, yeah, no, no, I'm I don't want no problem it. I got because it, I got anything it. I can't swing at or shoot, I don't want to fuck with. <laughs> yo, real I had shit. A conversation with him. I said, yo, because I'm, 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 I'm with you. The spirit, spiritual side, like, I'm, I'm into like, you know, your, your loved ones coming back and speaking. Oh to you. hell I, no! I, I've lost my father. I lost Mm-mm. my best friend. So I'm big into that. Yeah. We had a conversation. I was like, yo, so you wouldn't want. Listen, you know, I uh, one of your best friends or something. He's like, nah. I, one of the yeah. homies came to me. I I told him to get out. I told him, look, like, one of our mutual friends, actually the friend, our homie that linked us up years ago, came back to me after he would he passed in his sleep, and he came to the house, and yeah. I and I looked because I was like looking like this, and I looked in the door when I knew it was him, like his old. Right. And I said, hey, bro, you. I'm. I looked away. And I'm like, oh, hey, my no. nigga, you got to get the fuck up out of here, bro, <laughs> because I ain't built like I ain't ready. Like I'm not. I can't handle that. Don't. If you gone. Stay I'll on. see you in a minute. Damn, I'm that's you really, how you, you feel. You really gave uh, a spirit some honest feedback. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it real shit. It's not just for the artists. Uh, it's for the spirits it's too. It's everybody. That is hilarious. But you, but you, you okay with that energy and shit like that? Um, I, without going into too much detail, I don't know if we have enough time for that we got right time. now. But, so, oh, let's go. All right. Well, um, yeah, I definitely am a huge believer of spirits. I lost my mom very young. My mom passed away. Um, like a month after I turned 13. Damn. So I think if I didn't, like, I, I needed to, right? yeah. to. To keep going and yeah. to keep... <laughs> I needed something. Yeah, 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 I needed something. And, um, you know, just time and time again, things were shown to me. Even when I didn't want to believe or or had shut it out, um, just different things have happened. 
that I've just confirmed that. And it's just made me grow my interest and my curiosity and my level of spirituality now to now, you know, I, I after I lost my mom, I lost somebody in my immediate close family, probably at least one person yearly. Wow. For maybe like five years after that. Damn. And it was like, you know, continuous loss after continuous loss. So I think, and especially in my culture, I'm Afro-Latina, I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican. And um, I just even growing up before I lost my mom, that's something that was always, uh, you know, around and, and celebrated and welcomed. In, in my home. So. No, I get. I know in Latin culture it's a little bit more acceptable than, than some niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. It, it is. No, but not. Nah, but it's not though. Not nah, because nah. my gr- nah. Yeah, not. Well, not I know because well, I'm nah. from LA, right? So we have like the Dia de Muerto. Yeah, yeah de los Muertos. The, yeah, yeah that's have, like a we, Mexican culture. I know. It's, mm-hmm. I, I grew up with Mexicans. You okay. know, so I'm from Got LA. You. So like we have things that the Latin that the Latin culture embrace about mm-hmm. when, but when it, it, when it's black people, it's like. Oh, if, if you could see, like, if you see a spirit, they just pray it away. You know what I'm saying? You got no. diabetes, pray it away. It's like no, it's always it's... a prayer. Like, no, we gotta, we gotta take some action, my nigga. Like, <laughs> like, what are we doing? I'm just being honest. Bro. I'm so... No, because <laughs> what? you know what I'm saying. We're give me a gun. <laughs> you know what I'm? Am I, I'm not crazy, no, right? No, no. Listen, it's okay to say he's crazy too. No, but just keep no, going. no. Listen to each their own. I'm by no means judging anybody. It just make me feel comfortable. Yeah, you don't know, have mean, a nice hey. little firearm. <laughs> if, it, if, I, if I'm being haunted, <laughs> you hey, you yeah. feel a little different right hey, now. come on, bro. Anyway, so, so, so you mentioned that that musical is one of the things that I mean, I, I couldn't imagine. First of all, like losing somebody that early, and then year after year after that. So, music was that the one thing? Like, how early did you embrace it? Was it something that you were interested in, and then learned like, okay, I got a talent for this, or was it something that you discovered discover later on? That's that's a great question. Um, actually, I was born into a pretty musically inclined family. So my mom sang, obviously, probably since I was like in the womb. My mom right. could sing, sing, like, sang. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, my dad was a DJ. Oh, okay. So, and again, in my culture, you know, it's very common to link up at somebody's house and have like a cookout barbecue type of situation where everybody's playing some type of musical instrument, singing, like karaoke, like just, and you know what I mean? So it was always around me. And I would probably sang before I could talk, you know what I Damn. mean? So Damn. yeah, it's, it's always, it's always been around and, um, they always encouraged me, especially, you know, my parents being as involved with music as they were. And uh, my dad ended up building like a, a makeshift studio in, a, in in our garage when I was probably about like six or seven. I, and I recorded my first uh, studio wow. cover, and that was that was uh, "Fallen" by Alicia Keys, and he burned it on like a bunch of CDs, and all my family members had it. And of course, I've been trying to track it down so I could <laughs> play it today, and it fucking haunted me forever. And of yeah. course, now when I'm looking for it, you nobody has a fucking copy. Right? Exactly. Ain't that a bitch. But um, so yeah, so and then I just remember being like, like at that point, like. I remember there being like talks of like some like distant family friend having some sort of like record label that they wanted me to like get serious about and and I just remember like recording that recording Fallen by Alicia Keys being that young and like all my friends we had like those sliding glass doors in the garage and yeah. he had kept those and all my friends are watching me and I'm like wanting to go outside and like climb trees and play basketball and shit and my dad's like no hold on like we got it and I just remember being like fuck but but yeah I mean I always loved it and it was always they, then I they tried to get me to like play guitar. I was like, "Fuck that shit! I don't know. <laughs> like, I couldn't. I didn't." Yeah, have it's kind of confusing. You got to do much. a lot of. Finger. I was like seven or something. Like, <laughs> like, bro, I want to play with with. I want to go outside. Right. Bro. Like right. no, no facts though. Like I was at that age. I was very into sports mm-hmm. actually, and I wanted to. My little ass has been this little forever, and I wanted to play basketball. Really. And uh, yeah. So well, you, were you trash or were you? I felt like I was pretty solid, like I was decent. But then I joined the team and my mom ended up being sick. I couldn't really attend practices and really grow that muscle. But I, I mean, you, you know, hard for it. At yeah, first. Right, yeah. right. I, I was really like, I'm talking about my ninth birthday. I had a whole basketball themed birthday party, like basketball on the cake. Like, damn, it was my shit. Okay. Yeah. So, so were you, were you turned off of music at that point, or was it something that you rediscovered? Or was it was something that was still prevalent in your life. No, the years? yeah, I think it was so natural to me that it was always there that I never thought about. I never had to think about it. It was always there, and it's always something that I enjoy doing. And my mom, like, I always bring this up all the time, too. I don't know if y'all remember those body, mind, and soul 
uh, yeah, CD. The CD, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My yeah. mom had every single one. Volume we had 65. the little <laughs> facts. <laughs> so we had the little like Sony setup, and she had the microphone, and I was singing along to like all the Aaliyah and shit like that. So it was like always there. And then I got to a certain point where um, I got older, and then I had you know shit to talk about, and then kind of went my own little way with it. And then I strayed away from it, and I ended up going to school. I'm like a certified pastry chef. Really? Um, really? I went to, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's was, interesting as fuck. I love honey buns. <laughs> what? That is random as shit. I love honey facts, buns. Can yo, you make, can you, he's coming buns, with the Snapple facts. Are honey buns not fire, though? I mean... You don't fuck with them. All right, right. <laughs> but I'm next, like, I mean, next, if you like next. that kind of shit... <laughs> which, which, I like donuts. What's your specialty, though, when it comes to... to baking? Yeah. When it comes oh, to baking. man. I don't know. I used to be... I, I really wanted to, like... Like, in the area that I was at, like, obviously, like, normal cake decorating and cupcakes and stuff was, like basically what everybody went to do on after that. And I felt really limited because I'm like, I wanted to do food art. Like, I wanted to learn about molecular gastronomy, and I wanted to do, like, the she liquid said, nitrogen. Hold on, you said, wait, what? <laughs> molecular gastronomy. Mole- what? Mole- molecular <laughs> gra- gastronomy. Now, no, but, like, have you ever seen, like, okay, they, do y'all watch any type of cooking shows or anything? I used to My watch the chef, so, I mean, I know about some of this It's just basically, stuff. like, cham- changing the chemistry of, oh. oh Sorry, it's basically like changing the chemistry of the food using different things or just transforming it like from what it normally is or like it normally appears or like just I more watched art. Carlos Bakery, the uh, cake boss. That's- and I learned about I I learned a word I never heard before in my life called fondant. Fondant, yes. That's a covering. That's a covering. It's very I don't like it. It tastes gross. It's basically like Mar- <laughs> Yo, I hated your honey it. Honey buns, fuck your fondant, <laughs> yeah, all, everything that you got to talk and about. Yeah. I hated it. I did. I did hate it. But um, but yeah, there's there's like an alternative called uh, marzipan that's like like an almond based, and that's a Mar- little tastier. He's really taking notes, like he's gonna write this shit up later on. <laughs> no, I, I've never heard these words. It's rare that an artist come in no, here. No, no, you you got them hooked. When it comes to food, fuck the music. You got them. I don't food. give a fuck about your album. <laughs> right, we can right. Talk about right. Let's talk about Wait cookies and pastries and everything that's wonderful in life. No, but do you sugar? Is it, that's an interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting point, though. Do you Thanks. do you find a way, or have you found a way to kind of like fuse that into the music, or is it something you haven't really got a chance to do yet? You know what? It's something that we have spoke about. I will say it's not something that I've went into like extreme thought about, but it's definitely something that I'd like to do for sure. That'd be interesting. I'm not going to lie. That'd be a, a different way of kind of like just show, showcasing like we were talking about before we started showcasing different sides of you. So right. the, 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 the people get a sense of like who you are. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm, I'm like, so complex. Sorry not to cut you off. Good. I'm so complex as a person and especially as an artist and I feel like creatively like I love to paint mm-hmm. like on canvas, you know, and like um, for a short while when I was younger, I wanted to tattoo and, um, <laughs> I mean, how many tattoos do you have? Oh, I don't know. That, that's, that's, that's that's an unfair <laughs> question. And it's like, people see me on there, always like, you know, damn, you tatted. And my response never fails. I'm always like, a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> a little so bit. do you do you think at this point there's probably more of your body in, covered in ink than not? No, no, no. I would say a good, like, I, I don't even want to put a percentage on it. But my arms are pretty much covered. My chest is covered. I have some on my back, some on my legs. I definitely have plenty of room to keep going. What, but I, what was the most painful tattoo? Oh, so it's funny you ask. Um, right now, I'm, I'm actually redoing a lot of my old work. I saw, I got my very, first of all, I do not condone this, okay? I have to add a disclaimer to this. You were doing a two-year bid. <laughs> <laughs> And, and Kiki, no. Kiki no, no, like wait, four. Wait. She was the one that she was on the yard, <laughs> mainlining, <laughs> and I got this one right here. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this one no, means. Yeah, this no. one's my hat. Oh, oh to my nigga. god! Stop <laughs> it! Did you? No, 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 me? no. I got my first tattoo though when I was fourteen. Damn. And um, yeah, like I'm, and I really had most of them by the time I was, you know. Probably, like, before I was 18. So maybe, like, the years after that, I got most of them. But anyway, to make a long story short, I'm redoing my arms. I'm getting them covered, completely covered uh, in my chest as well so I could kind of have, like, a cleaner slate. I got a lot of these, like I said, when I was young. So I kind of... What was the first one? I had some music notes on my hip. Music notes on the hip. That was the first tattoo You know, And you know what's fucked up is that actually, short story... I was in New York visiting, right, because I didn't say this, I didn't mention this, but I consider myself kind of like tri-coastal. So I grew up uh, here in California, in Orlando, Florida, and in New York. 
Um, <clears throat> so I was in New York visiting some family, and I had uh, convinced uh, my stepmom at the time to let me get my tongue pierced, right? So I'm just like, ah, oh, just let me get, like, no, it's not, like, I just want to, like, it's cool, and da, da, da. and then, like, bro, after, like, grinding her down, like, I, it must have been for, I don't even remember how long, but she finally was like, you know what, Bye. just fucking go. <laughs> if you can figure out how to do it right. and get it done and get it done safely, like, just go ahead and go. And I remember I went with my cousin, and we ended up at some fucked up ass shop in somewhere. I don't even remember where because we drove around forever. And I ended up getting my tongue pierced, and then I went, I'm sorry, I got the tattoo first. Mm -hmm. So I got the tattoo first. Of the music notes. Of the music notes. Okay. I'm like, fuck it. I might right, as well, right. you know what I'm saying? Might as well. So I go get the music notes. It's like fu some fucked up ass music notes <laughs> at that. Everybody tries to ask me like, oh, is it like a song or something? And I'm just like, no. Like I was fucking 14. Like I was just hyped. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I'm I just like, music. Doing. Hey, but at least. I was I, on bullshit. I will say though, at least it's something that I chose something relevant nonetheless. You In know what life. I'm saying? Right, so right. it's still relevant to this day. But yeah, very questionable. And um, literally, I ended up leaving that tattoo shop. They wouldn't do the tongue piercing there for whatever reason. Maybe I didn't ask it. I don't, I don't even remember. But then I ended up at a different tattoo shop. And they're like, where's your ID? Oh, I'm trying to get my tongue pierced. They're like, where's your ID? And I'm like, oh, I'm like visiting from out of town. Like, I didn't bring it. I was like, but I literally just got tattooed. Like, I got tattooed and I showed my ID there. Like, and they were just like, Okay, you and so they did it. And then they end up. Oh, use the, the tattoo as your idea. Right, oh, right, so right. So you was fourteen and got a tat and the tongue piercing. Yeah, the and then I came home, and then like I came home and I was asleep. I remember, and I just remember like waking up to my little sister being like, "Mom, oh, Rosemary got a tattoo," and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Like, and my stepmom came in there with a towel on her head and shit, and she came in there scratching my skin, like, this shit better come off. And I was like, it's not. I and sent you out to get a tongue piercing. You right. got a tongue piercing and a tattoo, right? <laughs> it's terrible. Man. But uh, wow. to, anyways, it's, but I will say I have one. I have one on the back of my knee. I'll give you, like, the top three most painful. I have one on the back of my knee, and that came about because I was, like, apprenticing at some shop, right, because I told you I wanted to be a tattoo artist. And, like, one of the tattooers was, like, I watched a documentary last night, and one of the most painful places to get tattooed is the back of your knee. And I was, like, let's fucking do it, it right now. It. Right. Like, what? what the? I know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I don't know either. I've been through some you're, shit, you're and I don't same. know. Right. I'll tell you what, but, uh, <laughs> tell you what it is. <laughs> yeah. That mean, well, finish it. What's your, like, what's the, what's the so other one? So, I would say uh, back the back anyway. of my knee ribs like what ribs fuck that mm -hmm. fuck anything by the ribs stomach like that shit is crazy uh and my chest hurt pretty fucking bad like yeah. i have like my whole chest but um these two like i've had two sessions on this arm to kind of cover up and fix what's going on here and these like it was like six and a half hours for this bottom session six and a half hours so would you say the top over Damn. or under 50 tattoos if you had to guess uh over. 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 I, would, I, I don't know if it's that much over, but for sure over. Like 65. Yeah. Damn, bro. 70 maybe. 75. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> I'm just trying That's... to get a number. Now, now the only reason why I say I say um, the... Uh, <laughs> I hope that ain't no spirits, right? <laughs> hey, hey, Y'all might be in sure, this motherfucker bird, that by y'all right? That was okay. bird. No, was bird. listen, hey. We're protected. We are. Don't worry no, about no, it. I'm We're you. protected. I feel better protected with my firearm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but, but, but one of the shit. things that I get from you, the fact that you wanted to know what the most painful thing was and then wanted to go do it is that she's somebody that, that wants to take those challenges head, heads up, right? And, am, I, am I wrong in saying that? No, no, not at all. I would say uh, at the time, I think it was a release for me, you know? I had been through a lot of emotional and mental pain and... Uh, for me at that time, like now I get tattooed as an adult and, you know, I made peace with some shit and I'd be like, I don't remember this shit hurting this fucking bad yeah. when I was going through some shit. You know what I mean? So I would say definitely it was it was a healthier, healthier release for me than some of the other coping skills I was using at that age. You yeah. know what I mean? So I, I do want to talk about Synergy, man. You got a song called Henny Talk. Let's go. All right. Henny yes. Talk. Henny Talk. Yes, yes, now, yes. Um, first of all, I'm not going to say how did the song come about because I do want to ask you about you. Do you, do you drink? <laughs> I do. Okay. Is Henny your choice? It is. So it, one of one of them. What is the, you would say, the craziest thing or one of the things that comes to mind that you've done off the Henny that you like, damn, <sighs> is it is it is as much yeah. in the that, song? That chest or? tattoo. Probably nah, so. nah. <laughs> that shit was sober, sadly. But um, 
you know what? I'm I'm gonna veer off. It wasn't Hennessy. I might have mixed, but um It could be drinking, it don't matter. It was drinking. it was Bacardi and I almost fucking died. I, again, I do not condone this, but I was in Florida visiting some of my family and we were at this spring <clears throat> and they were just like <laughs> there's like a fucking dock like off of the spring like off the spring water you know there's like a dock maybe like easily at least 20 to 30 feet off the water you know what i mean and people were like i'm talking about kids were back flipping off into the water like diving in and like in the spring there's no bottom you know what i mean so you just swim up to the top and then swim off to the side and then you know what i mean and then everybody was just like not even nah let me cut that nobody was gassing me up i was gassing myself up and i was like um i had taken a couple shots and i was like I could backflip off this fucking thing into the water, you know, like, uh, and and then I just remember one of my family, like one of my cousins or something, was like, "Can you backflip like on land?" <laughs> and I, why does it have to be baby steps? And I was just like, <laughs> "No, but it's different. Right, like, not, I don't have nothing." You no, know, but we're I, not tripping if it's on land. Though. <laughs> I mean, you can do right. it right here. I would actually prefer to see it over here. <laughs> facts, facts. And I was just like, "No, like it should be cool, like you know, because I don't have that. Like, I have time to do the turn and everything and to land in the water." And, uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I ended up jumping off, and I just basically, like, backflopped from that 30 feet in the air and, like, knocked the wind out of myself. And, like, so I just had to, like, lay there for a second and then, like, swim. Like, I had to swim up and swim to the side and, like, catch my breath, and everybody's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. I'm what what, so, yeah. what do you think about, like... <clears throat> What do you think it is that goes off in your brain where you want to cause yourself harm? Like, oh, does, is that what I'm sounding like? This is a terrible introduction. No. <laughs> <laughs> because he's just, like, who right, hurt right? you? No, no, what no. happened? Heard. Look, well, I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people walking their stupid ass up crates right now. So are you, hey, man. Are you, fuck key. no. Okay, so you're not Hell, doing that. I'm not doing the crates. Okay. Nah. Hell no, nah, that shit is crazy. Okay. That's, that's but you were backflipping off a, dock. Off a 50 foot dock. But, but With no, it, no previous backflip experience. Ah, oh, man. You think the crates are stupid? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Rosemary, all she thinks the crates are stupid. Listen, right. <laughs> off the three shots, she backflips off the off the dock into the water. No, I, but I, the crates I, are stupid. I love this <laughs> That's where I draw the line. I love this because there's somebody that probably relates to you right now, and there's probably somebody like, yo, her ass is crazy as hell. There's this there's, there's a couple of different ways people are looking at it right now. So yeah. Either way, it is what it is. Damn. You right. know what? All right. I also have a question about. Um, <clears throat> also, hey, you know what? I also want to give you your props because I didn't think I was gonna like your music. Wow, thank you. I don't like. I, I don't appreciate care. the honesty. I don't yeah. care for R and B. Like I don't care for like a lot of like soulful shit. Cause I, I'm like not in tune with my emotions. I'm. What do they call? Me? You're a robot. They, they call me emotionally constipated. Wow. Oh, that's a good okay. Thing. Women, you know, I have terrible wow. personal life. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just gonna skim past that. <laughs> hey, look, we. I'm being straight with each other. So I'm being transparent. Hey. Welcome, welcome to no, no, I love I'll it. Keep it real. I love I, it. I, I love would, it. If your shit was trash, I would tell you. Thank Believe you. me, I would tell you. Thank you. I do not think your music is trash. Thank but you. Because I'm not really in tune with my emotions like that, I don't really fuck with R&B a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless it got a good BPM to it. Um, but <clears> what <throat> I noticed about your shit is you weren't afraid to be vulnerable. Wow. And you know what? I'm going to stop you right there just for a quick interjection. Uh, I feel like I'm most, if not only, vulnerable in my music. Mm. So I'm so glad because it's almost like if you listen to my music, then you get access to a part of me that you wouldn't get normally as a, as a, as a person and in a relationship with me in person. Yeah. Yeah. It's like my level of vulnerability through my music <clears throat> It's almost like a very cliche, but like pages out of my diary yeah. or something. You know what I mean? It's a different level of personal. And Speaking so of which, glad. uh, confessional, <clears throat> right? Um, yes. Confessional it felt like a real personal record, obviously, because you're speaking about um, your uncle. I think it was your uncle, right? Yeah, yeah. It was about your uncle and then your aunt with cancer, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so in that record, I, I, I caught those <clears throat> those two things that stood out to me. But then I, I was listening to the music and I was like, the hook is talking about how you're still alive. Like, yeah. I'm still alive, I'm still alive. But then, is that like, what is that called? Survivor's remorse? Have you ever thought about that? Survivor's remorse. That's a very interesting uh, vantage point. No, that's not what that was about at all. It was more so me uh, reflecting and kind of finding 
the reason as to why I'm still there, you know, like. Like, why am I still here? Like, or why, what spared me or? Not not necessarily what spared me, but it's like I, I was reflecting. I actually wrote that song, I think, on the whole project I, I wrote and recorded. I had a, I had a makeshift studio in my bedroom at the time. And I think I wrote and recorded a rough to that song in under like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and I had had a conversation with my aunt, who I talk about in the song, uh, the day prior. And um, it kind of just brought a bunch of feelings to a head. You know what I mean? No pun intended. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no. Uh, and we had talked about it in, um, I guess, to get a little bit on a deeper level. My aunt was fighting cancer at the time. Uh, and cancer is what I lost my mom to. Oh, so, so that um, made you get, okay, got you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so she was upset with me because I didn't reach out to her maybe as much as I should. Or um, your aunt, yeah, gotcha. And not necessarily even upset, but she was just telling me that she wished I did reach out to her more. And I kept trying to tell her like she didn't understand where I was coming from because it was almost as like I had to relive what I went through with my mom mm. and had to watch you know somebody you love so dearly literally deteriorate and change. Uh, and it's just that was that that is something that I feel like I'm. I feel like that's not something you really even ever get over. You Hell just learn no. to to cope and and handle. And um, so I had that conversation with her, and uh, that's what the context of her verse is about. Um, I taught I told her I don't call because I think I'm traumatized from memories. I tried to leave behind with that adolescence. So it's like I told I literally told her that I was like I don't think you understand. Like I'm this shit is traumatizing. Yeah. And now it's like I'm I'm having to relive that trauma, but. That doesn't mean that I love you any less and, you know, I, I love you so much. And so, yeah, the next day I kind of, I'd heard that particular beat and that shit just came pouring out. And, yeah. You know? I thought it was dope because, like, I didn't have to be, <clears throat> I, like, I, like I was telling you earlier, I don't have to be a fan of yours to relate to that. Like, mm. it's, it's, a, it's a relatable, everybody has lost somebody to cancer. Mm. Everybody has had those, those, uh, those situations where somebody that they either know or care about has taken their own life. Facts. shit like that so yeah. i just thought it was i thought it was a dope way to kick off the project thank you yeah that was that it was, felt like it was intentional it, it definitely was and uh that's kind of what i wanted it was like this is that i feel like on that song is me burying myself in a completely different way than all the other yeah. songs so it's like this is me and all my fucked up and then yeah. after that after we get through that then we could get to like <laughs> the vibe or shit you know what i mean but i really felt like there was no real I felt like that was the best way to kind of structure that. I knew uh, I wanted to come in kind of like, sorry, I feel like I'm talking in like circles no, here, ahead. but basically the way the project is set up is like, you know, you start off on that kind of fucked up note, like real like life shit, you know, and then it's like a couple ups, a couple downs, and then, you know, I wanted, I know I wanted it to end on a high note with vision. Pull yourself out of it. Right, and it's kind of like, that was very telling to to how my life was going and the the way, you know, it's just a roller coaster of emotions throughout that whole project of, like, love and, like, fuck you and, like, you know what I mean? So it's, like, you know, drunk right. type shit. So, so, yeah, I think it was very, very important and... Um, and that was that was a perfect way for me to for every for I feel like if you didn't listen to nothing at, at most, you know, whenever you come across a new artist or you listen to a project, nine times out of ten you're gonna start from the beginning. Maybe I, you know, sometimes I like to look at the title the titles of the songs right, and catches. which ones right. But um, so I just figured, you know, the, if that's the one that start you listen to, yeah, if that's the one that you listen to, then Why I'm okay not? with also, that. You know, the only feature on the project, <laughs> okay. Shout out to Juvenile. Shout out to uh, Juvie, man. A fucking legend. Okay? Yeah, facts. Juvie don't get his flowers. But, At all. Um, why, why Juvenile? I mean, I know the sample <laughs> and, like, it made sense. Um, but, like, was that, like, did you already have a relationship with Juvenile? Or, like, how did that work? No. So, actually, I had written that song and that beat didn't have that sample on it. Um, I wrote that song and I kept hearing it and I'm like, man, it would be so hard. Throw that if somehow <laughs> we could swing this, you know what I mean? Like, and I kept hearing it, and then we plugged it in, and then you know, Bird, Bird does what Bird does, Bird did what Bird does, <laughs> and uh, you know what I mean? Made that shit happen, and then it totally like exceeded my expectations, and I was very blown away. I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah. And at first, actually, 
funny thing is that the song was titled Juvenile. Yeah. Right? So, because throughout the course of the project, the titles are supposed to be reflective as well of this, like, uh, I don't want to say religion necessarily, but loosely. Mm -hmm. You know, confessional is like, you know, the little box that you go and you confess all your sins to, Mm -hmm. or confess your sins to the priest. And, you know, so all those things kind of centered around that. So Juvenile was kind of like, it was titled because that song is kind of like juveniles, immature, you you know, the context of that song. And so then I was just like, shit, you know, it can't be Juvenile featuring Juvenile. juvenile. And, right, exactly. So then 03 is whenever, you know, he dropped that, dropped slow motion. So I was like, 03 love. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Dude, so I do want to, I want to ask you this too, uh, because we we also get into like intentions and you have a song called Vision. So I like to get into this, right? Please. We're going to talk about Vision, but the year can't end without Rosemary doing what? This is something that's on your vision board. This is something that you think about. Could be music, not music related. What's one thing that you got to do the year can't end without you doing what? Whew, that's a tough question. Damn, I have so much I want to do. I would say... Um, just more so personally, I think I'm going in a good, uh, like, I feel like I have a good trajectory Mm -hmm. right now. You know what I mean? But I still feel like I have so much growth and so many goals. I feel like creatively, um, as far as like my creative process goes. So I have some goals as far as like, you know, building a song completely from scratch or, um, you know, building a song with like just uh you know somebody playing a, a guitar so it's just ma- mainly me growing my artistry and and you know finding more of of myself with music and getting closer to to whatever it is that I'm going to be next you know is, is so. there is there a person you have in mind like yo if I if I could have a career like this I, I would want to like shoot towards that oh man that is such a tough question i do have plenty of idols now, it, it could um, be, and, and honestly, it's just like, it's just, I know it's the same way of like asking what your favorite song is, right? So it's, oh, that's it's, so hard, it's your, yeah. Just right, right now, what, what what comes to your mind when I ask you that question? Who's the first person that comes to mind and why? Rihanna. Rihanna, and why is that? Why? Because uh, I feel like she's she's iconic. Like, she's, she's legendary. And um, just the way that she's been able to create the empire that she has... Um, I feel like I would, I would, that's exactly what I would want to do is like use music kind of as a catalyst to, to branch out and, and help and do so many other different things and get my hands into so many, because I told you I'm so com- complex as a person right. and it's so many things drive me like creatively. And, um, so it's like music is one of those things. It's the biggest thing, yeah. you know what I mean? But, uh, She's a beautiful example of how, you know, you can grow from that. And, and she's a billionaire, too. <laughs> and she's a You billionaire. know, and that, yeah, too. You know and that. But, yeah, she's definitely, she's just, I've always loved her. And actually, and she was uh, the inspiration behind Henny Talk. Wow. Yeah, wow. so she has a song called Higher. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember we were in the studio, and the producer, um, Sean, was playing some beats for me. And he came across the beat for Henny Talk, and he kind of, like, tried to... Like, almost, like, skim past it. Like, no, that's too hard for you. Like, it's too, you know, it's too overpowering. Like, I don't think. And and I was just like, no. Let's go with that. Turn it on. I want that one. There goes that challenge again. She wants to do the the challenge, the thing that doesn't make sense. (laughs) You got to do it. Well, and then he he had mentioned, like, no, I've had... I've had a couple people try to write... Try to get something to this record, and it just never, like... And I was just like, I want that one. And then I knew that the feeling that I got... I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Hired by Rihanna. I'm not. This song. I, well, if I heard it, I probably know what it is. Right. But. Okay. So um, that's the feeling that I got when I listened to that song is what I wanted to kind of bring to to Henny Talk, mm-hmm. but with my own interpretation and, and style to that. So, yeah, she was actually. Now, I want to ask you, when you saw yourself on Alicia Keys' Instagram. Oh, my God. Right? Right. Did you lose your shit? You know what? Like your whole collective shit? <sighs> you know what's or did crazy? You feel like you belong there. Is that no, because Alicia Keys is one of my idols, right? I told you my first. Yeah, your first cover. song you ever recorded. Right. Right, yeah. So she's been like, oh my God, just. 
I can't even verbalize what I felt, but I will say I held my shit together. <laughs> I held my shit together, and then I can't remember if I called Bird or Bird called me, and then as soon as I saw him, then I started crying. Gotcha. And I was like, yeah. oh, my God, <laughs> what the moments. fuck is life right now? Like, yeah. I have people calling me like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but just, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. So that Dope. was that was a, a very Have you was, had a chance to talk to Alicia Keys? No. Would no. you like to? Of course. Yes. I have Alicia so Keys many questions. No, <laughs> I have so many <laughs> questions. Hey, Listen, looked, again, shout up. out to Alicia Keys. Shout out to Bird for yeah. doing what Bird does and Yeah. Man, shout out to Bird too. Shout out to man. Amazing. Uh, human. Uh, getting into vision. Vision is basically titled as uh, you know, an ode to bird vision because um you know i that was i remember my my friend gave me the task of like write a happy song bitch because you just write sad girl <laughs> music right <laughs> and i that was my take on like a happy song and that's what made me happy and it's like talking about you know celebrating yourself and giving yourself some credit and i couldn't do that without you know my team and, and i wouldn't be here i feel like all this stuff sounds so cliche but no, it's, it's so fucking true it's real, like yeah you know the the relationship that I've built with these people outside of music is is very. You know how they be like deeper than rap. It's right. deeper than R and B. It's deeper yeah. than music. This is my family, and uh, you know I got it on me. Oh, damn. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, how did you guys connect? So, a couple years ago, I was actually working <clears throat> at an undisclosed location. No, I'm just kidding. Man, I was working. <laughs> people where you worked. Where'd you no, work? I was working this event with my homegirl. And uh, JT she, of the City Girls used to work at Whole Foods. Oh, facts. That's dope, actually. Mm -hmm. No, like, yeah, I'm not even saying it. I what I my last job before this, I worked at a, a boys' group home. Okay, for sure. Yeah, and then before that, I worked at a. Uh, uh, I was a site coordinator for the Boys and Girls Club. Oh damn! I was just out there and then work with the kids. Damn. But um, for a couple years, yeah, and um, so yeah. Uh, I was working at this event, and then I had got introduced to uh, Trap Kitchen Spank. Yeah, shout out to Spank. Spank. And then um, at that time, I was really, like, you know, on my shit, like, as far as, like, posting uh, covers on my Instagram, like, really trying to grow a, a following, like, just trying to, you know. You social media. Have, have, yeah, yeah. Right. Just do, at the time, I was, uh, my homeboy, John. Um, who was helping me as far as like beats and mixing and everything? We were going back and forth with that. Uh, he was he would be on me like you know post like two covers a week. So he was really trying to get me going with that. But to make a long story short, so I had met Spank. Then Spank ended up uh, posting one of my covers to his page, and he's a mutual with Bird. And then I just remember asking Spank like at that time it was weird because Spank posted me, and you would have fucking thought that was like a fucking music Craigslist or some yeah. shit. Like, I started getting inboxes. Like, my inbox was going crazy, and I just remember feeling like I was just, you know, I didn't have a team. I didn't have nobody. I didn't know who to trust. I heard all these fucking horror stories about the music industry yeah. and how people try to take advantage of you and all type of crazy shit. Like, I didn't have that. So I just remember asking Spank, like, Spank, like, this dude Bird. Like, what's, what's, what's good with that? You know what I mean? He was like, nah, he good, he good. Bird and I just solid. remember being like, Okay, all right, cool. And then we just started building from there and you know, and it was this history. Shout out now. to my dude Bird, goddammit. Yeah, shout out. A couple the more best. things. Uh and then we'll let you go. Yeah. Comparisons, right? Obviously you coming oh, fresh in the man. game. You're gonna get the comparisons. I know the Kalani thing the Kalani comparison is out there because of the tattoos and your yeah. voice is kinda raspy. Yeah. Do you look at comparisons as a negative thing or like I'm on my own or do you take it as a compliment? Uh, no. First of all, anytime anybody compares me to Kaylani, I take that as a hugest compliment because she is so fucking raw. Yeah. Like, I am a huge Kaylani fan. Like, I love her. Gotcha. So, anytime anybody makes that connection, I'm, I'm okay with that. Same good got, company. I, yeah. Sure. So, I'm okay with that. Nah, yeah, she's crazy. And, um, I feel like that's, that's inevitable. Me, myself, as a listener, I constantly compare and contrast and do that all the time. So, it would be unnatural for me to not expect that from other people you for know sure what i mean so i'm yeah no that's good I, yeah i love it um so we do this thing on our show it's, okay we call it the homegrown head scratch since you love challenges and you're so complex this is just right so up we have there. listeners call up and they guess if you got these answers right or wrong these are elementary school test questions okay that i'm going to give you Fuck. and right. you have to you have to answer you even if you guess okay and take your time if you need to fair enough ready for the first one yeah give me three questions you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Let's go. How many quarts are in a gallon? Four. Okay. 
Oh, she used to work with the kids. <laughs> she got all these. When she said that, I'm like, oh, she, she going to get this for sure. <laughs> How many stripes are on the American flag? Um, 13. Damn, I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> Where the kids? Would you count them in your head? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> no, like, I went in my little memory <laughs> bank. <laughs> She's like, colonies, the colonies. All right. <laughs> Last one. <sighs> How many colors are in a rainbow? Um, Seven. God damn, I, nah, I didn't know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just straight shot like uh, six. six. I don't know, seven. I don't fuck. That's good. Thank you. That's good. Well, she, had, she ain't been out of elementary school that long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck all of this dumb shit. <laughs> is, is, there, is there anything you want the people to know about you that we haven't discussed just yet? I know you say you're complex, you oh, like man, challenges. That's so you don't know hard. how many tattoos you got. But is there anything that we haven't discussed that you want to make sure uh, that people know about Rosemary, all one word? Um, that's so hard. I feel like we talked about it so much. That's hard. I don't know what to say. I guess find out. You know what I mean? I, it'll be worth it. Tap into the project. Think, you know what I'm saying? Give, yes. Give me an a artist and a producer that you want to work with. This oh. is the manifestation part. I got a list. Can I pull out my pull list? You got a right. list? I do got a list. I would love nice. to actually so, pull a list out. Let me see it. Do you Fuck. look at this? Do you okay. look at this list every day? I don't. Okay. So it's just it something. Says, let me but, see. And oh, it says not in order. All right, all right. He's not gonna it, let yeah. me make no edits. Read That's it, yeah. but I, I got a dream collapse. She has a note in her phone called <laughs> nice. get this dream yeah. collapse. Boom. You know what I'm saying? The, is there a date on there? No, there isn't. All right, I, no, there's no date. Not in order. Oh, yeah, there's a date. Yeah, but it's like there's a date. Okay, I'm not going to read the I'll date. I'll be adding. All right. Okay. All, right. All right, Dream Collapse. Aventura. Aventura. Drake. Drake. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Most Def. Most Def. A Boogie. A Boogie! <laughs> say this Say this. Do, this, D, this D one. Dominic Fike. Dominic Fike. Dominic Fike. Salute to you. I don't know. You know oh, man, say. he's so good. Um, Rihanna. Yes. SZA. Period. Rosalia. Ah, oh, so good. Alicia. Alicia Keys. <sighs> Listen. Miss, Miss Alicia Keys. Period. Miss Damn. Lauren Hill. Damn. Yeah, put the respect on it. Her. Yes. 07 O'Shea. Yes. That's a nice list. You know? She has a list in her. I said, you know what? I get this. That. Make sure you get this. What? Get, get Hold this on. Get the, don't get the password. Watch out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She really have a list in her phone yeah. that says Dream Collabs ready to go. You gotta be I ready. fuck with you on another level now. <laughs> Because it, because what it is is it's not even about it's not even about like the what if it's like no I'm 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 manifesting this one okay. and then two I'm you I'm gonna make a checklist so that way I can boom 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 you okay. know what I'm saying it's like it's almost foreseeing the, the vision I like that thank you vision you see thank you. Period, yeah. one of the first people we asked that question to was Kendrick years ago in our, in my in my apartment. in two thousand nine wow. two thousand nine he was like I want to work with Dr Dre. Wow. To work with. Who else was it? It was a Sade. Sade. Whoa. And, and uh, who I think was Erica Badu. Ooh, so and good too. Who else? It was somebody else. It was but somebody it, else, but he did the song with. But he he wow. he's worked with everybody in some that capacity he said in on those that. years. So, yep. See, so man. Gotta throw it out there. Love it, man. Synergy yeah. out right now. Yes. Uh, how can they follow you? How can they get in contact with you? Yes. And all that stuff? So at Lil X Rosie okay. on Instagram, most any platforms. Um, synergy up on every streaming uh, service, and uh, yeah. Man, we appreciate you coming on through. Thank man. Great you. conversation. Yes. Man. And real quick, I'm yeah. sorry not to cut y'all off. We didn't get to touch on the album cover that you didn't or that you weren't fucking with at first. It was scary. Um, it's you know it was meant to be attention grabby. It is. And I just want to take a quick second. Um, me and my sister shot that. My sister shot that on film. And uh, I actually did the hair and makeup and everything. I did the makeup in a mirror. Wait, you and, wait, wait no, you no. did that in a mirror? Yes. Yeah, so you that drew, you, what, was that, that's not Photoshop? No, I drew that with eyeliner on my face. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. And then uh, me and my sister, shot. she shot that on film. It's it's on uh, on on film. You drew it backwards. Yeah, so it. I had to draw it backwards in a mirror so that way you, the camera would, would be able to read it. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? She, wait, what, you an Aries? I'm a Leo. 
Your yeah. birthday just passed. Yes. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's a different. Life. If you was an Aries, I'd have told you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You, I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, spook the I wouldn't shit blame out of me. You. you know what I'm saying? Nah. So yeah. So shout out to my sister who did her thing that's on that. She's she's a crazy photographer, crazy creative, and she she definitely aids to to my creativity. Oh, the talent runs in a family, man. Yes. Appreciate you coming on through, having a, had a great conversation with you. Thank Look you. I had a great to time. More. Yes. Right. I was uh, nervous, and this was why? so great. You, you guys nervous? are so great. I don't know. I just you know. nervous. I had a great they time. They told you I was scary? No, not at all. I was just like, man, what, what is he about hey, to ask me? Right. Do y'all know anything? <laughs> did, y'all, did he give you a did list? He, right, he right. Like, then he nah. pulled up the fucking elementary school question. I'm like, God damn. I saw Boosie with the fucking herbivore. I'm like, oh, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we know what the fuck was going reptiles. on. Reptiles. Right. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? Yo, Rose, really. Appreciate you coming on through. Homegrown Thank radio. You. Rose Thank Marie, you. all one word. DJ Head. Oh, yeah. my God. Rosemary with one word. All right, catch yes. y'all next time. Thank you.